Good evening. This is Joan McSween, and I'm at the Winter Garden Library. Uh, it is Monday evening, December the 10th. Sir, would you be so kind as to state your name? Phil Cross. Good evening, Mr. Cross. Good evening. We'd like to ask you a few questions, please, about the West Orange area. Could you tell me how it is you came to be in West Orange? I was, <clears throat> excuse me, I was born and raised in Oakland. My family on my dad's side, <clears throat> moved to Oakland in December of 1900. Uh, my dad was two at the time, um, and came with, of course, with my granddad and grandmother. On my mother's side of the family, Judge Spear came to Oakland in 1857. Judge Spear is my great-great uncle. So I've lived in West Orange all my life. Uh, born and raised in Oakland, and moved to Winter Garden uh, when I got married in 1973. And do you have any memories of your early childhood in this part of the county? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Oakland was small at that time, much smaller than it is today. <clears throat> there were maybe 600 residents in the town. We had a grocery store, Dee's Grocery. We had a hardware store which was gully hardware. We had a post office, and that was about it. Um, most of the shopping was done in Winter Garden. We came to Winter Garden to buy uh, groceries, um, clothes, other necessities. Some things you had to go to Orlando for, but most of them we could get here in Winter Garden. So that's where my mother and dad shopped. And you said that you've lived here most of your life. Yes. And you worked here and raised a family? Yes. Okay. Yes. I worked here, um, went to school at Florida Southern College, graduated, um, went in the U.S. Coast Guard, spent five or six months on active duty, and then five and a half years in the reserves. So I've been here all but maybe a year or two years of my life I've spent here in West Orange County. And do you have any particular favorite memories of West Orange County, um, an event that stands out in your mind or a place that stands out in your mind? Well, just <clears throat> probably um, Oakland. Um, always liked it. It was a small community. Everybody knew everybody. Everybody was friends with everybody. We knew most of the folks even in Winter Garden. Uh, today that's not the case. Um, so many folks have, have moved to this area and the area has grown so much that you know very few people. But back in my childhood, we knew everybody, and everybody was everybody's friend. Um, if you had a issue, they were all there to help you, and if somebody else had an issue, you were there to help them. Very good. And is there something um, in, in this part of the county that used to be here that you missed terribly? Probably the railroads. <clears throat> I've always been a um, railroad historian love the history of railroads. Um, we had two railroads in Oakland, and of course they were ran through Winter Garden as well. Uh, one was the Tavares and Gulf Railroad, the other was the Atlantic Coastline Railroad. Um, both of those railroads are gone. There are no railroads in Oakland. The Florida Central Railroad, which took over some former lines of the Tavares and Gulf and the Atlantic Coastline, still come into Winter Garden and serve Winter Garden. But, um, Railroads as we knew it are long gone. And there is a railroad museum in Winter Garden. Yes. It serves the history of the railroads? Yes. Yes, I'm a part of that uh, organization that uh, helps to operate the museum. Very nice. Very nice. Um, someone was telling me this morning that the, the citrus and the vegetables used to be packed in cars and big chunks of 100-pound ice were dumped into the box cars that made a great big noise in the middle, like 10 o'clock at night. Yes, yes, there were a number of packing houses here. Um, originally when the railroads came to town, lumber was the, was the big um, commodity at that time. And then as vegetable farms started, then it was vegetables. And then as citrus came in, in the, oh, after 1900 and, and then even more so after 1920, citrus began to, to encroach and, and then that was the main crop. Um, in 1949, um, the Tavares and Gulf Railroad originated more perishable freight, 
per mile of track than any class one road in the U.S. And most of that freight was originated here in Winter Garden from all the packing houses in the area. That's very impressive. Absolutely. Absolutely. What, what do you think the future holds for this part of the county? I think it holds a, a great future. Um, I'm amazed at what West Orange and in particular Winter Garden has been able to do to come back from uh, the 1980s when the groves were frozen out and, and there was very, very little work here. Um, today we have a bustling community, uh, it's rapidly growing. Um, the work that the city of Winter Garden has done to enhance the downtown area, um, so many people say, gosh, I wish I lived here. They're very envious of what Winter Garden has been able to do to bring back um, the downtown area and, and the entire city. It, it's just been great. The West Orange Trail has been a, a great contributor to that. If you'd have told me that Winter Garden would look this way today when the trail first opened, I would have told you you were crazy. But you have to see it to believe it. Yes, I, I quite agree. It really is very beautiful here. Yes. Yes, very much so. Um, do you have any parting words for us? Um, we would love for you to perhaps discuss the, the Railroad Museum. Could you tell me, um, there's, is there a charge to go? No, the, <clears throat> the museum is free. There are actually two museums here in Winter Garden. There's the Central Florida Railroad Museum and the um, Winter Garden Heritage Museum. The, both of those are operated by the Winter Garden Heritage Foundation. Both are in former railroad depots here in Winter Garden. Okay. The, rail, the Railroad Museum is in the former Tiberias and Gulf Depot and the Heritage Museum is in the former Atlantic Coastline Depot. Um, the Railroad Museum um, focuses on, of course, railroad history with a special emphasis on Central Florida and has a, quite a collection of photographs and um, historical artifacts from Central Florida as well as throughout the, the U.S., but our focus is on um, Central Florida. And is the, the rail car behind the museum also available for us to go in and look at? Yes, there is a caboose at the Railroad Museum and there's also one at the Heritage Museum. Both of those are available for folks to go in and see what life was like on a caboose many, many years ago. It's very nice. I want to thank you very much for your time, sir. It's been very informative. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you.